Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are going to dive into uh, the browser from uh, Perplexity. I haven't actually used this a lot. I've tested it out a little bit on the Mac. I haven't downloaded the Windows version until now, but I thought that we would try it out right now when I would do like a first impression where I give you my initial thoughts on it. Uh, so uh, I will go through how this is supposed to work, test it out a little bit and give you my thoughts on it as we go. Uh, so this is connected to your perplexity account this is the browser itself um, it isn't as like i will probably compare it to dia a lot uh, it's funny that josh uh, miller from the browser company pops up on linkedin uh, but uh, i will probably uh, talk uh, or compare it to uh, dia a lot and i would say that like right off the bat uh, dia looks more beautiful looks better uh, but uh, this might have a lot more to it than the uh, so let's open up the uh, assistant here i have tried uh, filming this video a couple of times but uh, here i can press add and i can use my different tabs i can also connect it to my spaces because this is connected to your perplexity account and it has the context from your perplexity account as well so if you ask it what it knows about you it will reference your account as well because the perplexity account has uh, memory. I think that feature uh, is still in beta, but uh, let's click it onto my profile. So here I can do a couple of things. I can ask it to draft a post. Um, and I did that uh, like um, in my first version of the video, which didn't go too well. But here it uh, tailors a post based on your background as a productivity enthusiast, YouTuber and social media marketer. Um, so it it actually writes quite well um i think it's quite impressive i mean it still has uh works to do uh, or work to do but this is some of the best i've seen from without giving it any context at all i think it writes quite well but let's actually open this up uh here and uh let's try to write something like um can you analyze my posts um so i can ask it to analyze my posts uh and it gives me um it analyzes it for me posting consistency post performance um uh, let's try to ask it what is my be best uh performing post performing post uh, does it give me it gives me an overall impression potential improvements as well um based on the visible data on your recent linkedin activity your best performing post is measured by the number of exposures impressions so it gives me that as well um i don't write a lot on linkedin i just write sometimes on here uh let's try to do if we do something like um, uh, take the post about user centric approach uh, and copy it to a card to card on at hepta base like this this should probably work uh, because the idea here is that this browser should be able to do things for you. Uh, and it starts like thinking through things and it tells you what it does. So preparing to transfer, uh, locating the Heptabase app to create a new whiteboard card for your user centric approach, preparing to create a new whiteboard card with your user centric approach post on Heptabase. So it takes a while. Uh, Let's see what it does here. So it just scrolls. Uh, I can't actually scroll up here, but uh, it tries a different approach. So the first approach did not work. Um, I can see the card is still in the tabs, but hasn't opened it. Let me try to. So it keeps just doing uh, stuff until it figures it out. Uh, but it is a little slow, like 
uh, at this point, I would probably just open this up and copy paste it and uh, put it into uh, Heptabase myself. But I guess you could do this while uh, while you um, do something else. So I could be inside of Heptabase while this goes on. Uh, but I think that is one of the points of this browser is that it should be able to do things. Uh, what is it trying to do now? I need a different approach. Let me try pressing enter on the input field. Uh, I see there is duplicate. Let me clear the input. So it keeps going. Uh, it doesn't give up. Um, but this is probably not a real use case. I wouldn't get it to copy things for me. I would probably get it to do other stuff. Um, I see that I'm in the card library now, so it is in the card library, uh, which means the card has not been properly created. So it tried to create the card, but uh, when it tests it out, it doesn't seem like the card is created, so the AI can figure that out by itself. And it ju it just keeps going like that. Let me just jump back to the home page here, uh, because you can continue to just do stuff um it doesn't uh, actually need to you do, do actually not need to stop uh whatever you're doing the ai will just work in the background here uh so uh it can just go on forever uh so it failed this task unable to create a proper card in the heptabase uh interface system uh and it says I w it was impossible to automatically copy your user centric uh directly into a new card on Heptabase whiteboard due to restrictions in the web interface. I can do it manually. Uh, and it gives me the post here so I can do it uh, manually. Um, but basically the browser does things for you. Uh, let's see if it can, can you, actually let's jump into Heptabase and try something. Uh, can you find cards related to creativity? And I can ask it to do that, uh, and it will probably search through. Oh, it actually made. Uh, it actually made. Now well, it is working here, but it actually made a whiteboard instead of making. Uh, instead of making um, a card, um, so uh, it made a whole whiteboard. Uh, now it is currently working inside of my Heptabase. So I would probably go into. LinkedIn or do something else, but like it hasn't found anything yet, so it keeps on working here. Then it reloads the page um, and it finds the creative act, the book, and it keeps on going like this. So, what I would do here is that I would probably open up a different tab and I would keep working as this would be working in my Heptabase page. So, it found a whiteboard called Creativity and Mental Health. It checks my tags as well. Um, no tags found for creativity. So you can see that it actually keeps doing things inside of my browser. Again, I think this is a little too uh, slow, but um, it it is like checking everything to be sure that it is able to find uh, the things. So here. Uh, it is finished. Here are the cards related to creativity found in your Heptabase workspace. So you have um, creativity whiteboard notes about productivity systems bullet journaling. I can press this uh, and it will start analyzing creativity, the creative act, whiteboard, extensive collection of, I can actually press this to open it up, I think. So I can press the source button to open up the whiteboards uh but let's go back um and it can also do uh like, like the creative act here uh creativity and mental health is another whiteboard so it finds everything related to uh creativity inside of my workspace just by searching through my um searching through my notes so that is super super interesting uh, in general, I find the application really, really interesting. This will be something I will need to play around with a lot more, but I like it a lot. I would say that this is more tailored to uh, like hardcore productivity and AI users, while something like DIA is more uh, for quote-unquote normal people. Um, 
but not people who are like really into productivity and really into AI. Um, like a lot of people in the productivity space would probably like this a lot better just out of first impressions. Of course, I will need to play around with this a lot more uh, and I will be back to do a video on it once I have actually been able to like, play around with it and figure it out. But I think that covers it for like today's video. If you have any questions, comment them down below. I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.